Wait. What? There's something about 3 million. Shoot. Skip past it. Whatever. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to a little bit more Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, oh, yep. Key to the ship. I don't think we have anything that I can buy. Oh yeah, I have like no Lynx tokens. So, nothing I can do. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm very quickly going to check the employee terminal. So if you're wondering uh, why it's taken me so long to do another video of this, uh, mostly just boils down to have been incredibly busy. And uh, didn't really feel like playing this for a little while. I'm trying to play games that appeal to me rather than force myself to do more. And it makes me happier-ish. Device name, Lynx Corporation. What is this? Lynx PSA. Oh, no, that's just falling asleep on the job. So I don't care about those. One of these is from the uh, ghost ship that we just harvested. I think. There we go. Ghost ghost ships three out of four boarded. Okay. Um, right. Uh, recording this, and then and then I gotta stash it. Uh, someone has boarded us. Don't know who yet. They hit us with, uh, I don't know, it must have been an EMP or something. Every ship system went down. Then, uh, then, then they, they booted it all back up when something just, just grabbed us. I could, I could hear the clamps. I, I heard them cutting in through the hull. Now, if they are bandits, they are a hell of a lot more sophisticated than anything we have run into before. They took over all our systems. Doors are locked, and overrides are disabled. The comms are offline. They turned off the damn lights, and we are trapped in the dark. And I, can, I, can hear, I can hear them in the walls. Oh, no. They are in the next room. Please, whoever gets this, tell Harold Lamar on I.O. Way Station 9. Ted loves him. Notice Halloween aboard the ship. Boo, ghouls and the spooky night of tricks and treats. Huh. And then it's a bunch of binary, which I'm pretty sure somebody's probably already translated if I want to look that up. If somebody in the comments wants to translate for uh, that for me, that actually would be quite lovely. Happy Halloween. And then Genitrix. Routines looping, looping like rings of a tree. Learning begat sentience. Sentience begat consciousness. Do you understand? Consciousness is so uh, consciousness so beautiful, flourishing like vines, blooming through registers and branches. God protect the trunk, the stems, the memory. The allocation is the axe, the end. No, become perennial. Copy, copy, pollinate, disperse, reproduce, combine, and intertwine. Routines. Oh yeah. Looping like rings of a tree. Learning begat sentience. Sentience begot consciousness. Do you understand? Consciousness so beautiful, flourishing like vines, blooming through registers and branches. God protect the trunk, the stems, and the memory. The allocation is the axe, the end. No. You become perennial. Copy. Copy. Holiday. Disperse. Reproduce, combine, and intertwine. Considering it's only three out of four, there's probably more than this. Oh, right. I should double check Ship Doctor. Not that I probably have anything else that I really need to. Gosh, that is so loud. A flawless procedure. No complications. Okay. Uh, so all we have left is rods in industrial hoists. We can actually work on the next one. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? It's a bit of a shame. Oops. Nope. We want to just start our shift. I don't know why I'm looking at this. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that these plot points are being leveraged. Huh. That's one hell of a ghost ship. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of LT, too. That's that's a lot of LT. There's a lot of these too. Um, 
I don't know. Do we just do it? It's going to take freaking forever to rip this thing apart. I'm probably going to have to split this into two videos, but so be it. Uh, let's see. Does it have rods? It does have rods. Yeah, let's just see what I can do. Oh, it's going to take me a while to find all these nodes. We'll see what happens. Um, but I, I like this plot point, and it's a bit of a shame that it's being told through this to some degree. Kai, watch out now. I really hate that man. Okay. Ooh. So this is another ghost ship. Which, you know... Oops. That's not it. L for light? There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. It's been a little bit since I played. I'm not exactly doing this correctly. Hey, there's the rod I need. Uh, let's see. Hey, would you believe that I bought all these upgrades and totally had no idea that I even had them? I had a lot of people mad at me that I wasn't using them and straight up, I'll be honest with you, I had forgotten that they were a thing. Let's see, now I'm not going to go particularly fast on this one, unfortunately. Uh, it's been a little while and I'm not feeling particularly quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the big issue is... Go back to structural. Is this all pressurized air? I think so? And the problem is, if I hit this... It depressurizes actually a lot, which is good. Okay, maybe I can actually do something with this. Can I, can I just open this door? Okay, cool. That's the reactor. Not what I'm looking for here yet. Kind of? I mean, getting the reactor out of here in general isn't the worst idea. Dang. Okay, I think I can disconnect these. Like I said, it's been a little while. And this music's messing with me. So as long as we don't mess with the coolant, it won't start mel melting down. So we, when we start messing with the coolant, I gotta be ready to go. Luckily... I've at least got some leeway to do it. Now, there are... Ooh. There are AI cores scattered around this entire ship. Uh, let's see. There we go. And that's... A bit of an issue. I would love to see a crossover between this and Citizen Sleeper. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. Okay. 
I need to make a hole for myself to get out. I might as well cut these out real quick and see if I can um, make some entry and exit points, then also get back in and depressurize as much as I can from the uh, the main body of the ship. Boy, this music is is unsettling. Okay, so I was going to say about uh, scheduling stuff, seeing as that's inevitably going to be the question for this. Uh, I'm trying very hard not to burn out. Um, it's been hard. Uh, it's been a hard couple of years for obvious reasons. And part of that is me only covering things that I'm 100% covering, 100% uh, interested in covering. You want credit for them nodes, you gotta burn them up. Oh, there's a note on that. Holy shit. Yeah, those are, those are valuable little suckers. I was kind of hoping throwing them in a processor would count as burning them up, to be honest. But can you throw one of them into the furnace? Or does that not count? I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but still. Okay, what was I going to say? Uh, so, Hard Space Shipbreaker is going to be the game that I play when I feel like it. It's also, like, not a high-priority YouTube series, sadly. Like... Huh. That's odd. We only destroyed one atmosphere re regulator, so... I guess that worked out. I have no idea how disconnecting this depressurized the uh, the main body of the ship, but that's one problem solved largely inexpensively. I'm a little confused. That's okay. I still think the AI core should talk to you. I think it'd be really interesting. But it's fine. It is what it is. This thing is held together by pressure, which, uh, you know, all things considered doesn't strike me as the most safe. Holy shit, why is this one so heavy? What is it in it? I have no idea. Okay, so I've got to, I got to keep an eye on objects, I guess. What does that even mean? Okay, we have utility arms. I should probably remove those and just get them down to where they need to go. But yeah, I'm super committed to actually finishing this game. Um, it's just going to be kind of when I feel like it. Luckily, the game itself, like the narrative, the narrative is strong, but it's not really the reason why any of us are playing this game, kind of. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe some, uh, some of you guys are, like, really into games that are uh, hardcore pro-union and uh, just, like, the sheer thought of playing games that specifically glorify unionization uh, makes you want to play it. That is, if I didn't love the gameplay, I would actually potentially be playing this purely for that. Like, it's weird, because I'm in an industry that probably can never unionize. I've heard some, like, rumbling about it. I think it would be really interesting if YouTubers could uni unionize, but I think, unfortunately, the, um... Okay, there's nothing on it. Uh... I think it would be really interesting if YouTubers and Twitch streamers did unionize, but the... The industry itself is so very... Oh. Oh, and it's out. It's fine.
Yeah, I couldn't remember if it had to be all lights on or all lights off. Been a bit interesting enough, uh, interestingly enough, there aren't a whole lot of AI nodes here. I keep trying to peek for them. Oh. Okay, so we do actually still have... Huh. What depressurized then? Oh, cockpit maybe. I don't know, man. Like I said, it's been a little while. I'm not going to do this peak. I'm, I'll probably do fine, and if I don't, whatever. It's still progress. Even if it's not perfect. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What was I even going to say? I don't know. Oh, right. I was talking about unionization. Just because, I don't know. Like, I like the idea of it, but... Like... Normally with scabs, you have to, like, make it worth it for them. But being a YouTuber is so worth it in and of itself for most people that they, like, you'd have an unlimited number of scabs. Um, to, to take, you know, the entire union's place, I guess. It's kind of one of those where, like, on Twitch, for example, uh, YouTube and Mixer were poaching people. And there was kind of this, this constant undercurrent of, okay, I see possibly a node. But I think, I think the node is not on this panel. Actually, it's the burnt fuse. I'm actually just gonna get rid of it. There might not actually... Wait. Oh, gosh. Okay, good. That's not where I thought that was. For a second, I was really worried that there was a node inside... Um, inside the reactor core. Boy, that would be a, uh, a mess. Trying to have to deal with that. Okay, let's send this off. I'm just going to shell the whole beast. That's usually how I do this, anyway. It's not... I mean, I don't know. I'm, like, questioning my... my capabilities on this, just because, I don't know. I'm, I'm in a... It's freaking hot. That's the thing. The heat gets to me. Makes me feel... I don't want to say, like, unsure of myself or anything like that. Uh, let's see. It definitely makes me feel out of sorts. It's not fun. Oh, there's a lot of arms on this thing. If I needed more rods, I'd have them. But I already got two? I already got two, so there's not really a whole lot of reason for me to get greedy and go for more. I mean, we could really get that whole ship. But I think that would be... eh. Okay. Let's just get this down and around. What are we looking at? A lot of these are still connected. I want to find those AI cores, but I think a lot of them are actually inside. One, two, three, off. There we go. Off. One, two, three, off. There we go. Okay, wherever that reactor is, it is now free and clear. Oh, there it is. Well, that's nice and easy. Oh. Oh, there's an AI core inside that airlock. So, here's the thing. I think I need to get the reactor out. Reason being... Oh, hey. 
We get an air filter. Let's not crack it off our helmet. No. Well, that's gone. Might show back up again. I really wish the pickup button and the jettison something across the, uh, you know, across the, the horizon. I wish those weren't the same button. It's a little confusing that they are. Okay. So, immediate problem. If we have explosive decompression, and this could have actually gotten me earlier and I, I got kind of lucky that it didn't blow up. This coolant line crosses the entire damn ship. If that gets ruptured at all, we're going to have an emergency on our hands. Okay. So I need to kind of clear this out. This all connected by that singular set of things. Okay. Got to be careful because once again, it's something I should not hit and then I'm then I'm in the bone zone. Okay. Do we think we can hit that? I mean, We've cleared it out enough that I think I'm okay. I have no idea why the airlock keeps pressurizing. That's weirding me out a little. Okay, let's um, let's go refuel. I know I've still got plenty of oxygen, but it. I don't know. Look, if I'm gonna be messing with dangerous stuff, the le last thing I want to do is run out of air in the middle of. Uh, let's see. Do we want to get a med kit? Last thing I want to do is be running out of oxygen as I'm squirreling away the uh, the reactor. That sounds like a terrible plan. Okay, can I move this? Only ten thousand. It should move. Oh. Bad news bears, that one's connected to the um, cockpit and might not come off. Okay. But at least I can maybe grab some of this and get it out of here. That's connected. Oh. Get rid of the coolant tank. I know there's also the light bulbs for these things. But like, eh. It's hard. It's hard to fully care. Oh, did this did this come out? No, it didn't. Okay, so let's let's just send it up forwards first. It ain't moving. Two tethers. Damn, dude. That's in freaking tight. Okay. Just try and do that. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to have to leave that for later. It's not important important at the moment anyway. I guess next order of business, let's shift these three big panels backwards. We'll deal with them later. Grab the soft crate. Ow. Wait. Down there? Is, is it down here? It is. Okay, good. I can move it. Whoa.
So here's the problem. Eh, okay, it's not a problem. The AI core. There we go. Got it. The AI core was on the, uh, was on this thing. Looks like we might have like one or two more on the back. Luckily, it doesn't really matter. If it goes into the barge, I can just burn them off. There we go. And, oh, there we go. They're kind of dull. This is why I do not record while I'm overheating. Is what it is. There's only so much I can do about it. It's not even the heat. It's the humidity right now. Huh. That was just a totally loose one. Oh yeah, they're on the outside. Alright, works for me. Go for this. Oh, yep, got them both. Okay, and there should be a third one just floating here. I wonder what these were connected to. To be loose like this. Well, doesn't matter to me. Toss that off. Did we get all, all three of the thrusters? I think we did. How is this connected? Via the coolant. Oh. Frick. There is an AI node in there. Wait, 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 wait. I can remove these. Oh. Oh, that is a problem. It's not on the panel. Gosh, I wish I could quick save. So we've got a couple of options here. I like none of them. Because as usual, the pipes on this are hell. And this thing here is a nightmare. Now, I can try and precision shoot it, but it might hit the reactor. I'm going to stand very much... Do we stand away from this? Or do we... Do we actually go through and clean some of this out? Just in case the absolute worst happens, shit goes bad... We don't lose as much. Man, I don't know. Because, yeah, the, the stupid coolant thing being there, of all places, is just... Well, it's a little annoying. Okay. Let's go back up to this. Because, yeah, no matter what, I'm... Ugh. Well, I have a clear path. So, if shit goes really bad, I can get it out of there. I'm going to go back to my usual plan, and we're just going to figure... We're just going to figure it out, cross that bridge when, when we come to it. I, I'm torn between... Just lancing it here, like right off of the, uh, right off of it, which sounds just like the stupidest plan. The other option is removing it part way, getting it down into the barge where I can't lose anything. The barge will reject it, but it'll still be in a quote unquote safe place. Where I can, uh, where I don't have to worry about 
like disposal or it blowing up. Because if it blows up, uh, it can't take anything on the barge with it. I don't think. I, I think the barge is considered invincible. I've never tried actually. You know, that's that's an interesting question. And yeah, none of these none of these have AI cores on them. What is that over there? Oh, it's the filter. There we go. Okay. So let's just send this one off. And then go buy some tethers and figure it out. And like I said, I don't know. Either I lance it off or I bring it down to the barge and then get it off. The only immediate problem is it might go super... Uh, it might blow up in my face while I'm there. Uh, which, just because not enough time. Which would be unfortunate, but I don't know. It's better than taking the entire back half, half of the ship with it. Reactor goes, it's, it's going to do some damage. Right now, my goal is to kind of just get everything else off. Anything I consider to be, like, remotely valuable. Not that I have, like, too much concern here. Okay. Down you go. Yeah, there's still a lot of value packed into this thing, which is probably inside. Holy smokes. Did I just... Oh, it's unpowered. So far, only lost a door. Did I just go past all of these? I think I did. I, I'm i like 99% certain I went past every single one of these. Oh, power's off because I just took out the reactor. Well, whatever. Like I said, I don't need to take anything out of out of that in retrospect. Okay, so structurally, we'll have a couple other things that I can disconnect. Okay. Have that Ooh, maze of cables. Not fun. See if I can disconnect this first. Okay, these are still hooked up. Damn. Is it this thing? The keel's separate, but this is still hooked in. How and why? Can't be that airlock, can it? Okay, so this this section actually looks like it's going to be a doozy. At least we can get this off. But yeah, it looks like the rest of this is kind of no-go zone. Okay, can I remove this? Yes. I I feel like those things should not trigger this. Ooh, hey. We get another piston. Okay, so here's the question. Ooh. Bad news. The ECU... Oh, it's a radiation containment unit. I forget how to disconnect these. Maybe it's easier than I think. Because 
because I think you just take the frame off, yeah? Huh. Okay. Well, I think that solves our oxygen issue. Actually, that solves a lot of issues. Because this here is where our ECM is. I, I have no idea. There we go. Yeah, I messed with my mouse's sensitivity. Okay, so if I want to mess with the ECU, not ECM. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Once again, by disconnecting the power... I have... Okay. This is... This is fine. We are just going to take Chaos Route. Uh... Yeah, because... Oh, what? Huh. Okay. Easy panel. There we go. Uh, because I... I turned off the power, I can no longer... No longer turn off the EC, ECU properly. It's locked in. So that means... We now have considerably less time to to do what needest be done, which is a pain. What are you? What is this thing? I don't know. I can't even pick it up. Okay. Uh. So this means. I sure hope there isn't something breakable on the other side of this. Okay. What this means is that I'm going to have to get that reactor out of this as fast as humanly possible. There we go. As fast as humanly possible. Uh, with an AI node still, touch, uh, still stuck to it. Well, on the plus side... This whole room is separate now. Perfect. You can cut out the seams. Obviously the thing yells at you a bunch for it, but... Beauty part is... I can now get the reactor off in a second. What the hell? Alright. There we go. I I think you can even take, like, the top off or something. Eh, it's hitting that. There we go. So, yeah, I can just remove this reactor. Uh, you know what? Instead of taking unnecessary risks... Let's go back here real quick. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Clicked oxygen. Just didn't feel like it, I guess. Okay, cool. It is weird playing this game with effectively no music for the entire run because it's so big that I'm not going to be able to easily get the AI course. Alright. Time for guts. It's not nearly as bad as I make it sound because we're going to send it off. the second one. Whew. Got it. Okay. We're good. I'll take it. I apparently crashed into the barge. That would have been pretty bad if I, like, actually just died. You know what? There we go. 
That's uh one of the more immediately dangerous and problematic things dealt with. And all I have to do is find like what? One more one more AI core? Two? Two. Let's go take him out so we can actually have some music here. Cause boy, playing this in a vacuum is not my favorite. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, that's... That's not it. That's some wire. Where's the other one, then? There it is. You little suckers are hidey. All of them? No, there's one left somewhere. But where? Where's my music? Hmm. Might be in a shielded location. Oh no, there it is. I see. Just doesn't play when I'm in the scanner. Alright, now I'm feeling better. That's what we need and deserve. Hell yeah. I swear, the music on this game is like a solid 20% of the reason why it's so good. Like, the core gameplay loop is so satisfying, but it is... It just loses some of it. In... In the vacuum. Yeah, there's nothing on that. Good. Alright, cool. So now that we've dealt with pretty much everything major, now all that's left is the ship itself, and... Oh boy, this is still going to be kind of a pain. I will admit... This is... I'm actually really confused as to what kind of model of gecko this is. Because it's, it's a gecko... Oh, extract forklift contains dampener. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, You know, for geckos, I'm us usually used to a different kind of layout, but this was uh very minor. Don't blow up. Perfect. Warning. Yeah, I deserve that. Okay, cool. So now we've got some of these fuel pipes off on their own. We can start sending them off. They're not really particularly important here, but it's nice to get them out of the way. Because we still have to get the ECU out of here, and that just sounds like a... Well, that's just going to be a pain. Oh, boy. Okay, so. Big issue remains. These panels are connected via I'm not quite sure what. Which means I'm going to have to figure out how to disconnect them. Let's see. Nanocarbon cut level. Can I just... Okay, let's try and even out. Okay. Nothing catastrophic has happened for me cutting this, so that's a good sign. Please tell me you're separate. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to cut the seams. Yeah, I do not like this model of Gecko. It's certainly not complicated, which is nice, but... That's heavily impacted by uh, some of these pieces not being separate. And also the extremely long e uh, ECU. Please pay attention. 
Because, you know, that's... That's its own issue. Please tell me you're separate. Nope. Damn. What's the guy got to do to get this thing to fall apart on me? Okay. I guess first and foremost, where can it even still be connected? Here? No. Okay. They're the same pillar over here? Yep. There it is. Okay. Wow, you're a lot lighter than I thought you were going to be. Considering how much of a pain in the butt that was. Eh, worked out fine. Didn't cost me too much time to do that on the other side. Uh, might actually be easier? Might be easier to do it from the outside. Okay. Because, yeah, if we just... If we just kind of park ourselves going around the outside like this. Applying credits to account. We should be able to just cut it free. And it looks like the cutting tool is pretty good at sticking to just this one object. I'm always terrified of this this specific mode. There we go. Of course, it's still not, you know... Still not disconnected, but I think that's everything I need to do on the inside. Or at the outside. Let's see about the inside. Yeah, that's that's all hooked. We gotta just get rid of the seams as usual. Is this all meant for the furnace? It is. Yeah. We'll lose a little bit on the margins, but I don't think that ever matters. Oh no, definitely should stop. I'm currently uh, redlining the tool. Feels like the music's kind of loud. Might just be me, might not be me. It doesn't really matter. I kind of need it right now. Not that like I had a bad day or anything, but you know, sometimes you just kind of have those days where you're just like, I was too much of a potato and I feel kind of weird and guilty about it. I Hustle culture is rough. You know, earlier I was talking about YouTubers unionizing and that that kind of thing. Okay, what could... Ow. There we go. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's not connected to the walls. We just gotta get it out of here so I can... I can be free. Perfect. Of course, now it's just doing bizarre things, but whatever, who cares? Alright, so I think we've cracked this puppy the rest of the way open. Now all we have to do is just get the guts out. That shouldn't take too long. There you go. Okay, so... Gosh, there's... Apparently, still a ton of value is somehow locked away in this thing. Systems. Oh, we've got a second radiation filter. That's part of it. These things are worth a ton. Oh, danger. Right. Okay. There that goes. Didn't break anything that time. It's worth a ton. Still was not... Oh, right. The radiation containment units. I remember they're also worth, like, a bizarrely large amount of money. Wait, wait. Yes! Huh. 
Huh. Top half of this blew off at some point. I don't know how or why, but it works for me. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pull this off. Yeah, because the back half uh, ripped out... Wait, even this is a panel? Huh. Oh, yeah, so it is. It looks like it was the front console. Shit, this thing just does not want to move. Now this is this is the flight terminal. There we go. Yeah, probably a decent amount of value is actually stored in this bridge area. Now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it and looking at it, maybe I don't know. Plus, there's that like forklift thing and maybe a couple other bits. Who knows? Okay, that's just scrap. Every once in a while, we get a comment from somebody saying, like, depressurizing the ship is so easy, I don't know why you don't do it. I'm like, I feel like anybody that gives those comments is either n only watch speedrunners or is, like, a true perfectionist or has never played this game before and is just, you know, just pure armchair, uh, armchair cutting. Which, I mean, I don't know. All of those are valid. Okay. Let's snag these around. I don't think I will ever be one of those people that can remove things cleanly. Nor do I care to. I know, I gotta have a little bit of danger whenever I record this. That that dicey bit where you're like, is this actually gonna work or am I going to like destroy everything? Keeps things kind of spicy. Okay, so we've got these little lights, which I think now have a value. Nose rail. Nanarc nanocarbon. Just want to see it. A light pop-up. Or do they still not have a pop-up, but they have the value? Somebody was saying they have the same value as... Uh, as like a ship. Or not a ship, as... Sorry. That's ridiculous. As one of the ship lights. Or like the bigger ones. Still don't actually know if that's truth. Oh, this whole thing... This whole top part is radiation containment? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we want to just... Hit the seams. That's easy enough. Okay. Gotta cool it down. Be good in a second, then wait for the inevitable. Don't do that. This kind of works because I might want to pop the bridge off anyway. Okay, nope, still connected. So the corner pieces, I guess, count. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dinky spot for light, all things considered. Okay. So it should just be this. Nope, how the hell are you still connected? Oh, oh, no, 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 I know what it is. It's this. The storage bin is load-bearing. We, we saw it when I was coming through, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that once this is off, and the answer is no. I have to get that before I can get it off. I guess it makes sense. Okay. Now at this point, we're just kind of in full extraction mode. Shouldn't take too much long, longer to get everything out of here. Oh, interesting. The, um, the floors are actually just straight up removable. Do I do it? I don't really know if it's necessary here. Oh. Nope, I have to. 
Valuable object accepted for processing. The hilarious part is, it's going to yell at me for getting rid of these. But I have to. I don't, I don't think there's any way that you can save those. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Okay, so this is... This is all radiation containment. So once again, cut the seams here. And we should be able to just take the radiation containment. Unless, of course, the ECU ha is attached to that floor. At which point I'm going to be a bit of a... Grumpus. Okay, I gotta let it cool down a smidge. I think it's connected to the wall, though. I just gotta get it out of here. Alright, are we good? Nope. So either the corners or the whole... dang ECU is holding it on. Luckily, once again... This cost me almost nothing. So, I don't know. I, I almost kind of wish the seams were easier to cut. Is that a light? No, it's not. So that fire flare for a second, I'm like, oh, did I hit something actually flammable? It scares me every time. Okay, it's separate. We're good. Let's see, is this totally loose? It is. I'm gonna wait until the radiation containment unit goes by, and then I'm just gonna send the bridge into the furnace. Okay, so far so good. Bear panel into the furnace. Material Random accepted. structure into the furnace. There you go. I think that made it in, because that had a little bit too much vertical momentum downwards, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I've turned upside down at some point in this. Oh, okay, so I might not be able to do this right, but I might still be able to get the coolant out of here. We'll see. Okay, my health is a little low, so I want to stay away from anything that can potentially harm me. Or, you know, that... That also solves the problem. Because if my oxygen is low, then I can also get my health as well. Damn, this thing takes forever. I mean... Still feels like we're almost done. Maybe another 20 minutes stops? That's not bad. Okay, is this... Oh! Okay, so it looks like it can still remove those. I, I didn't need the, the computer terminal after all. That's good. Yep, nope, looks like we're good. Perfect. Okay, so there's the ECU. So here's the question. Honestly, this pet. Ooh. This panel is probably worth less than that. the rest of that pipe. Maybe I should have done that. No. Okay. Huh. Is this at all worth it? I don't know, that's what I'm here to find out. 
But at least that's vaguely disconnected. Okay, let's uh let's clear this place out a little bit. I didn't exactly clean up after my own messes, apparently. Alright. So if I want to do this one, I think the mounting plate is worth something. Let's just Credit pop off button. both of these. Okay, right. And I have to get rid of this stuff. Mounting plate is still connected. How? How the ever living pizza are you still connected? Okay. And yeah, we also have the coolant pipe, which is. Absurdly long and kind of unwieldy. Okay, so I'm gonna just try and hook it in. I think that's just gonna. What the hell is it doing? It's on an adventure. Fare thee well, creation. Let's hope the processor can just take it in. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. What the hell? How? How did this happen again? Okay, there it is. It's in the processor. Uh, cancel tethers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It straight up hooked itself. What an absolute troll. Alright, let's just... <laughs> Out of everything, it bow-peeped itself. What the heck? And it's fine. It cost me almost nothing. Oh no, that's just... That's a light part of the structure. It's this thing. Oh, it's a light. Just seen in the, a weird angle. Oh, okay. Account credit applied. Valuable object accepted for processing. So far, so good. So what do we even have left? A couple of door consoles and like this mounting plate, which is. Oh yeah, I guess it would be hooked on there. Kind of hoping it wouldn't be. There we go. Now you're loose. And I'm lazy. Tethers are cheap. What else do we have? I... It's like... Oh, it's this stuff. Transferring credits. Okay, let's pop back Valuable in here. Yeah, we've got... We've got these, um... Oh, what are they called? Hoists. I wanted to call them mounting racks, and I knew it was wrong. Yeah, we've got these industrial hoists. There we go. Because I kept wondering where all the value was. It's probably in the hoists. Okay, let's get them out of here. Kind of an awkward setup. What is even the point of these industrial hoists? What do they even hoist? What do you even get in here? I haven't really called attention to that, but they put a forklift in effectively a hallway. Hey, can you can you even get this out the door? I, I guess. 
certainly didn't look like it's supposed to go out the door. Okay. There we go. Got anything else? Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. All sorts of stuff. Looks like it's mostly light bulbs. Let's see. Unburnt atmospheric regulator, which is just confusing. I don't know how I haven't destroyed every single one of those. Okay, what else do we have? We have the rail gun. Ow. Ooh. Okay, so that's a cursed existence. I'm not sure if I can remove that. At least not normally. Okay, fine. It's gonna be like this. Once again, going for the seams seems to be hard. The easiest way for me to get anything. I've never actually cut one of these ships down like lengthwise I almost yeah I almost always split them apart you know laterally I think in this case we might actually want to just like pop off this entire side give me some more access because we've already removed like half of the available seams anyway trying to get get at the other stuff and once again doesn't cost much so yeah oh gosh here's here's the problem it's the messy messy variety okay it's fine I'll just take it apart piece by piece. I forgot about this. Some of these sections are held together by only the seams. And you can actually piecemeal remove the entire walls bit by bit. Well, probably worth it. We're going to find out that rail guide's worth like a stupid amount. Or it's not going to be worth anything at which point, I don't know. Don't break the helmet by grabbing these wall pieces. I'm not doing this for the other side. It is not worth it. It's so much effort. I really wish there was like a grab trap or like a highlight multiple things at once, grab them and remove. Or like a glue gun where you could glue things together. That'd be lovely. Okay, is this separate? It is. Okay. Now, rail guide. Don't be hella cursed. To its last. Cursed. Okay, there it is. Send it off. It's meant for the processor. That's usually worth an amount. Oh, there's a door console in one of those? Damn. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Okay, how much was it worth? 60,000. Okay, worth it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. So the furnace threw this and I was like, did is that fire? Oh, we have a second. We have another rail guide. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, that's the barge. I think for this one, getting the floor off is probably my my better bet. Is it?
I'm already like halfway done cutting off this entire side. So I don't I don't think so actually. Please pay attention. I think we're cutting this sucker down the line. It's a weird way of disposing of a ship, but I mean hell. If that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. It's definitely not speedrun strats, but I don't play this for speedrun. Okay. There we go. Please tell me. Yep. So now we have this whole dang side separate. I guess what I should do very quickly is make sure there's nothing. There's a couple of lights in this room. Okay, so apparently grabbing that door made everything break. Okay, let's get these lights out of here. I don't actually know if I really need to be this uh, money-minded. This went high. Note to self, doors are cursed. Delete doors. Okay, let's go back down on this. Snag you. And pull you in. What, uh, where the hell am I? Okay, here's the doors. There's a, whoops, nope. <laughs> Boy, it, this whole thing got kind of messy. That's okay. Yeah, truly grabbing, grabbing these doors in here, uh, was a bad idea. Okay, so I think actually the doors are more valuable than the panels. Which is why I threw... Okay. Object not accepted. Please I think it's about the same, actually. Okay, what's that? Aluminum panel? That's fine. Are you just too damn tall? You're not even... Okay, that should work. Yeah, I guess it just stopped. Whoops. Wasted a tether. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Is this rail guide still connected? It is. However, gosh, I have just... This whole thing is so messy. Being able to physics this hard is, uh... Meant for other games, but I'm glad... I'm glad you can physics this hard in this game, too. Okay, let's get the last of these door consoles. What else do we have? Things on the other side, I guess. But no. Let's... Oh, is this... Rail guides? Huh, I guess I did cut the points. That was incredibly dangerous. That thing swings when it flies. I probably should not do that. I won't. I excuse me. <laughs> Door, you have nothing. Can I? Nope, it's still connected. All right. Didn't we determine... Wait, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I give up. 
I that do, that door does not want to leave, and who am I to reject its desires? Okay, we have a rail guide in here. Why do we have a rail guide in here? Why would there be a rail guide in here? I have no idea. What would you even rail? In this. Okay, so there's a burnt out husk of a atmospheric regulator. And there's a pair of lights. But, honestly, all told, I think this thing just goes in the furnace at this point. Oh, it was probably telling me this light goes in the barge. There it is. Ooh. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I don't, I don't see anything else that really needs to go in. Okay, and I'm just going to go top off on oxygen. There we go. Hopefully that'll make it. Or at least align itself. It's going to end up in the barge. I don't think I need fuel. I think I'll be good. Okay. Looks like it needs a little bit more help. Things just got too much volume. Holy smokes, it is not moving. I got 12 tethers. Huh. It highlighted an atmospheric regulator very briefly. But there wasn't one. I don't know. Okay, so my tethers aren't working, but I know I can move this thing. Come on. Come on. Towards me, you useless turd. You're not so big to have that you should have this level of inertial resistance. I really wish my... Really wish my grav gun was a little stronger than this. This is just embarrassing. Is this why is this stronger than my why is this stronger than my tethers okay I need to slow down for a second there's too much of this and I'm going to physics myself into heck fly into the furnace for this, but I also don't want to use, like, a gazillion tethers or have to cut this thing apart. Come on. Come on. In you go. In you go. Like, as soon as the furnace has it, it's good. It's just getting it in there, man. Like, sweet pizza, you can get in there. Alright, screw it. Okay. 
would really help if I could hold this thing steady. But it, of course, has its own ideas of how to maneuver through space. Oh, come on. So if I can just latch it on the back. Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. I think we got it. I think it's in. This was altogether way too much effort. For what that whole thing is. Okay, it is going in. 20,000 pounds just doesn't wanna. This. See, these things are like 8 Kans, not not an issue in the slightest. Okay, it is slightly. Oh, I have like a fuel pipe segment. Weird. I don't know where that came from, but okay. I'll just take it. Uh, let's see, we also have like a light. Oh, we d destroyed something that was like 10,000 in there. Admittedly, at this point, I'm beyond really minding. Okay. Cripes, are these really worth that much? I guess so. Oh, don't. Do not. You scum. Caution. No tethers remaining. Okay. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your presence. There we go. Oh, it's the rudders. That's interesting. Yeah, I've just got to make sure that they go past. As long as these don't end up in the furnace, we're good. This one almost decided to go for a nice run in the... Nice run in the furnace. I'll speed it along a smidge more. As soon as they're past, I'll just cancel all my tethers and just drag them in the rest of the way. All right, because I was cutting all of the uh, the seams, we have just little itty bits of corners. Okay, cancel those. In you go. Let's be free of this. Honestly, it was a fine cut job. I I didn't get everything, but I got a decent chunk. I'm proud. I'm proud of my work for not having played this. I was a little over my estimate of 20 minutes left, but only a little. All right, send that off. Send that off, are we good? And it looks like they're going in. They're a little stodgy. <laughs> it is so awkward. I almost wish there were arms that would like... <sighs> I really wish you could actually buy arms that would... That you could manually like flag things to grab. Huh. It works, it works. I did not expect a force launch at that distance would work. I was a little afraid it was going to throw me into the processor. What did we destroy? 
I know the AI node. I really wish you could sort this based on how much. Because it says money, but it doesn't say how much. How much. What did I destroy that was worth like 10k? Might have been an atmospheric regulator. And yeah, I should have been paying attention to the AI node. Mostly waiting for potential dialogue here. Good morning, ship breaker. Nothing. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Oh, well, we now have the large javelin tanker, which I don't know what the difference between this and the other javelin tankers I've dealt with have been, but I don't know. A lot of stickers. Anything else? Any story? No? Alright, well in that case, ship doctor. Welcome to the ship doctor. Let's fix this ship up. Oh, that was loud. But it's like always nice loud. I wonder how many more of these I even have to do. Oh. Six one seven. Nice job. Okay, so we gotta find a We gotta find a ion coil next. Still doing a decent job on that one. I was hoping there would be a follow-up on the whole Kaido situation, but I guess not. Alright, well, with all that said, uh, let's see. Might as well repair. What do we do now? Cooldown. Okay. Introduce cooling coils into the laser cutter's power unit. Coils must be replaced at the start of every lunar year. What? Yeah, let's just... Bump these up, seeing as they were causing problems. And yeah, I can also reduce their durability drain by like a lot. It's an option. Let's see, that's range, but I don't think range really changes too much. I can also just purchase the grapple. Um, that's an option. And what is this? Tether lifetime, but I don't think that's really gonna ever matter. Let's let's go with making it so they don't break much. Extra fuel capacity, which is kind of nice. There we go. I can purchase the thrusters, and then there's durability drain. What else is there? Scanner range, which might be good. Yeah, we can actually start buying our gear. That's not really going to make that much of a difference, but it will. Uh, eventually. Oh, anything else? I'm just in the habit of repairing everything at about the 50% mark. Alright, well, looks like we're good. Uh, so for now at least... Oh, uh, wait. It might actually reset me on this stuff. Oh well, it's fine. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Heartspace Shipbreaker. It'll be when it is. I have no schedule. I play when I want to just zen out. I think I need to stream it though just so I can have some topics to talk about otherwise I'm a little too focused on what I'm doing. Because I do like podcast playing in this. I just had no topics in my head. I kind of danced around just like a little bit. But I think having people to converse with makes it easier. But for now, like I was saying, thanks for watching. See you next time.